today we are going to have one of the sessions for the Army Day special uh, by Aviation and Defense Universe. With us we have a famous paratrooper, Jan Vinod Bhatia, who is presently the director of uh, the Center for Joint Warfare Studies and the former Director General Military Operations. We are honored to have you, sir, with us. Thank you very much, sir. As you know, the topic today, the burning topic today, is the creation of uh, Chief of Defense Staff. This has come under a lot of criticism. And uh, we would like to have your comments on this. Uh, if you look at the Chief of Defense Staff, uh, I will not go to the historical background. Uh, because it is, it stems out of the, flows out of the Kargil Review Committee report by Mr. Subramaniam and then the Group of Ministers report. Uh, it was long required. Uh, we, uh, as I would like to say, uh, we are one of the best militaries in the world. We are the second largest army, the fourth largest air force, a blue water navy. Uh, we are the third largest or the fourth largest military. Uh, having said that, uh, we are also battle hardened, we are combat rich, everything is right. Uh, the Indian military delivered whenever asked to, whether it was wars, whether it was uh, counter terrorist operations in Northeast, in Jammu and Kashmir, whether it is a, a, you know, disaster relief. But the fact remains that we are still a military force and we are not a military power in the nation. Today, India has grown. India has a risen, responsible, resurgent power. It is a global leader. Uh, but one of the major strengths which we have is Indian military. Now, Indian military. Uh, is not actually the strength we should have to be a global leader. We want to sit in the UN uh, Security Council. We have an uh, economy which is growing, of course, temporary powers are there. Uh, we have diplomat done very well. But at the military uh, uh, level, if you look at it, we needed a military power. And the CDS is the one who is going to optimize the strengths of the three services, harmonize them, create the required synergies, uh, make, making sure that optimal utilization of the defense budget is there and get transform the military force uh, to a military power. So that is the CDS and I, I, I do not understand why we are criticizing. I think the government has shown a political will to take this hard decision. It has been pending for nearly two decades now. The CDS has not only been uh, uh, announced, it has been appointed. General Rawat, who has got the requisite experience, he has got the equipment, uh, he has got the expertise, uh, he has got the, uh, you know, he, has, he needs to do the strategic direction, the strategic guidance and uh, uh, get the three services together to act as one. Uh, so I think it is an excellent step. We can critical so many things, but we should, whenever we critical, we should constructive criticism. Uh, the government has gone beyond appointing the CDS, that is the Chief of Defense Staff, because the National Task Force had actually recommended a permanent Chief of Staff position. You know, the, the, uh, there, uh, uh, I had spoken to uh, Mr. Naresh Chandra also on there, and he said that, look, we wanted consensus. So the consensus on the permanent Chief of uh, Staff Committee Chairman. Uh, so, the government has actually appointed us Chief of Defence Staff, which is a little more than the uh, permanent Chief of Staff Committee Chairman. And he is also the head of the ex officio secretary, he's not the secretary, he's the ex officio secretary of the Department of Military Affairs, which is the fifth vertical uh, in the Ministry of Defence. There are four verticals presently. He will he'll be head of the fifth vertical, and the ex officio secretary, he gets the financial powers. So that is a very major change. He's not, he doesn't get the delegated financial power as was given to the vice chiefs. He actually gets a, uh, the uh, financial powers and the transaction of business rules have amended accordingly. There are certain things still with the defense secretary uh, that include the defense of India. That is fine. We should give the CDS uh, time to get accepted, to evolve and to function. So I think that is a very, very major step. And it is, there is no degradation. Uh, status equivalence problems out there because as an ex officer secretary, he is still in the uh, as a series higher scales, which are equivalent to the chief, is above the secretaries to the government of India. Sir, I think uh, this is a very balanced perspective which you brought out because uh, this will allay the fears in the mind of people who are uh, uh, spreading rumors without fully knowing the facts and figures. In my opinion, uh, jointness is one other aspect, an economy of effort, because uh, one of the, uh, the terms of reference given to him or the task given to him is to uh, carry out uh, integration of the three services and 
have uh, you know theaters common uh, you know where they have the same uh, same head they have army air force and navy i think that will bring a lot of economy of effort and uh, and uh, efficiency what do you say about it sir uh, yes sir uh, absolutely right uh, when the cds uh, you know uh, walls and the structures are put into place basically the structure system is going to put into place will ensure uh, an economy of effort it will ensure optimal utilization of all resources uh, especially when you talk of uh, jointness and planning in operations in training communication logistics so there are a lot of joint things that can be done joint organization can be done so there's already you know the things are already moving it's not it's not moving it is moving but the cds is the head uh, who will give it the requisite push uh, uh, the C the CTS has come with the requisite mandate. It has the requisite authority, and uh, I think uh, the things have already started off in the next uh, last 48 hours. The Air Defence Command has been spoken about. 30th June is the last date given to the study to come up with a implementable pragmatic model. So uh, we are looking at things. The Theatre Commands uh, are being spoken about. So there will be a lot of talk, but that doesn't mean everything will change tomorrow. Uh, transition management will be a major issue actually. And that is where I think where General Rawat will score over uh, everything else is uh, getting the three service chiefs together, getting acceptability, not only uh, inter-service, but in, inter-government organizations, but other ministries also. We are looking at a different sort of uh, challenges in the future. Yes. It is not confined to the uh, three domains as we know them. Cyber, there are multi-domain uh, challenges are there. Cyber is a very major challenge. Information war is a very major challenge. And non-contact warfare, the legal war is going to be there. The non-traditional threats which are going to be there. And equally important, uh, other than the challenges, you see, uh, defense diplomacy is a very major tool for, uh, uh, for a nation to grow. And uh, he has been given the charter of uh, uh, ensuring uh, joint uh, jointness and uh, combined exercises with all other nations. So we are doing exercises of 42 nations now. So most of them are uh, service to service. There are some tried services also, some by services also. But when it comes under the charter of the CDS, we will find that defense diplomacy itself will take a major push. So what, what we are looking at in the end is a more optimal force, a well-balanced force, uh, economy of effort, optimum utilization of our uh, uh, defense budget. Uh, we are looking at uh, jointness, uh, we are looking at defense cooperation, we are looking at modernization, capability building, capacity enhancement. Uh, we all, and he is also part of the defense planning committee, which is led by the NSA. Uh, and he is a principal military advisor yeah. to the government of India, to the RM, and the prime minister. So I think uh, it has uh, got the requisite mandate. Uh, we want to ask anything better right now. Let us give it a chance to evolve, chance to grow, chance to get acceptable, and let us see the results before commenting before criticizing and if constructive criticism, that is welcome. But just criticism for the sake of criticism, I think we are doing this service not only to the armed forces, not only to the point of CDS, but also to the nation. I think so you have summed it well, very well. And uh, we should now only wish you good luck for this because it's a Herculean task which he has been tasked for and uh, which has been uh, assigned. And I am sure that he will uh, come with flying colors like a very good soldier as all 